Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ayan Ikhlas Kausar and today I'll be reciting Surah Ankabut ayah number 45. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. أُتْلُ مَا أُوحِيَ إِلَيْكَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةِ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَى عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ وَلَذِكْرُ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرُ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ مَا تَصْنَعُونَ صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is your brother Hisham and today, inshallah, we want to quickly reflect on the 45th verse of Surah Al-Ankabut. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Recite what has been revealed to you of the book and establish the prayer. Indeed, prayer deters from indecency and wickedness. Akbar, And the remembrance of Allah is ever greater. And Allah fully knows what we all do. Allah is reminding us that the prayer, this beautiful gift that we've all been given, this tether that connects us to the divine subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is a constant reminder of His place, central place in our life, subhanahu wa ta'ala. It reminds us that this prayer is a gift and that it helps divert us away from that which is displeasing and that which is ugly. وَلَا ذِكْرُ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرُ but this is prayer that is done correctly, in which the heart is in the presence of its Lord when we stand subhanahu wa ta'ala before Him facing the qibla, Allahu Akbar, and truly calling to heart His remembrance. For many of us come to the prayer, but the heart isn't with us. The body's there, but the heart is elsewhere. So the prayer that is imbued, impregnated with presence, وَلَا ذِكْرُ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرُ It is that remembrance of Allah that is greater than and will obliterate our proclivities towards what is ugly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us this presence in our turning to Him, that the heart may be present along with the body. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.